Good morning, everyone. Are you having a good BlizzCon so far? Cool. So we have a Ladies and gentlemen, of, we're about uh, to begin the, the World of Warcraft Game here. Systems Discussion the Panel. We thought would be really Please welcome our panelists, is, Greg Street, uh, Corey Stockton, and Tom Chilton. So you guys can ask us whatever you want. There's almost no question about Diablo 3 that can't be answered up here. We've got, uh, to my right is Jason Regeer. He's our lead programmer. Um, to his right is uh, Chris, Christian Lechner. He's our art director. Uh, Wyatt Ching, technical game designer. Leonard Boyarski, lead world designer. Who's that? Michael on the other? Michael Chu, um, one of our quest designers. Um, Joseph Lawrence, and oh, I skipped Dave. Eh, he doesn't matter. Uh, lead level designer Dave Adams, Joseph Lawrence, who's our sound designer, and Steve Parker, who's a senior producer. So all those production questions that have been burning in your soul, uh, we're ready for them. So, and my name's Jay Wilson, I'm the game director, and let's get started. What efforts for Diablo 3 hacking prevention are you going to push for? Um, well, I think one of the things that everybody knows was a really big deal in Diablo 2 was item duplication. And uh, one of the core philosophies of Blizzard is that we want a fair playing field for all of our players. Um, so with Diablo 3, we're definitely learning a lot of stuff from Diablo 2 and taking into account the successes that we had on uh, World of Warcraft. And we're applying all of those things to try to make Diablo 3 as hack-free and, and as great as possible. Oh, thanks. <laughs> thanks. Hi. My question isn't about Tyrael. Um, he's such a fan favorite and such an amazingly designed character. Um, how has the process been going to bringing him into the world of Diablo 3, and how much interaction will the player really have with him? Leonard, do you want to get that one? <laughs> We're Michael. conferring. Hold on a second. <laughs> You're going to have to play and find out. Hello, uh, my question is, uh, how is the PvP system going to be implemented and how is it going to be different from uh, D2? Like, can a random player just enter a random game and start going crazy or what? So, um, for our, uh, we haven't really announced specifically what we're going to do for PvP, but what I can tell you is um, we don't have any intention of supporting the um, go hostile at any time kind of gameplay from the previous games. We feel like it really, uh, we know there's a percentage of players out there who really love it, um, but we feel that it hurts the cooperative game too much. Um, it makes people ultimately in the long run not play together, which is not what we want. Uh, we are going to support PvP, and we're going to support it better than any of the previous products did. Um, we know that there was a really big dueling community, and we want to make sure that whatever PvP community comes up around Diablo 3 gets a lot more recognition and a lot more direct support from us. Uh, we are working on a system, uh, but we are not going to announce anything today. Hi. Um, my question is basically about Battle.net and how it's going to be set up for game selection, whereas Diablo 2, it was just a random list of about 20 games, and it refreshed at a random rate, I think. And then, how is it going to be for Diablo 3 being, can you make PvP games, trade games, or how is that going to work that way? So um, right now, we haven't done a lot, a lot of Battle.net design. Um, Battle.net's been focusing mostly on StarCraft II and, um, and just all the new kind of Battle.net features. It is our intention to get um, something a little bit more verbose than the kind of giant uh, 
very cumbersome list of games that Diablo 2 had. We recognize it wasn't really the best way to kind of find other players. So we do want to support some kind of specific matchmaking. You know, something as simple as you pick a character, you hit a button, it puts you in a game next to somebody who's doing the same thing as you at roughly the same level. Um, we want you to be able to join your friends instantly, no matter where they are, and make that really easy. What visual form that's going to take um, is really going to be determined partially when we, when we encounter Battle.net, when we start designing alongside them and seeing what they've done but, you know, with StarCraft II. Hello, I was wondering if um, you plan to have synergies in the talent trees with D3. The, uh, the synergy system did really good things in 110 for the skill system that was there. Uh, the skill system that's in Diablo 3 current, I don't think the, the need for them exists in the same way. In Diablo 2, the synergies, a lot of times you had like wasted points because you were making, say, like a, a frozen orb sork or something, and then you had all these other skills that you got in the way, and it felt really wasteful and negative to the player. So the synergies helped to support that. Uh, the, the skill system is so different in Diablo 3 that I don't, I don't think synergies will be needed in that way. Uh, that said, the player still needs uh, a breadth of customization. We are looking at maybe easier to understand synergies or something that, that would be more appropriate for whatever the final skill system ends up being. Um, my question is, uh, are there going to be like more variety of quests like compared to Diablo 2, um, instead of just boss farming, is there going to be more quests that you can do? Yeah, the, uh, the quests in Diablo 3 is an area in which we think that there's actually a lot of uh, room for us to explore and uh, grow from the previous games in the series. Um, as you can like, tell if you've played the, uh, the demo on the floor, we're trying a lot of new you know, gameplay mechanics and uh, you know, how we can uh, uh, vary your gameplay experience and also deliver um, story and interesting events. How you doing, guys? Um, I have a question about awesome. the monk. You said you want a classic fighter feel. So the stage one, stage two, stage three, are we going to see some sort of Easter egg Hadouken? Uh, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't discount anything, but uh, at this time, I, I can't say. Uh, I want to remind everyone, we've got uh, a whole bunch of disciplines up here. Uh, all your rendering engine questions, uh, this guy right here can probably answer them for you. Sound questions, anything like that. So, you know, make sure you hit the gamut. They don't get a lot of chances to answer questions from the fans. <laughs> 